I've hunted this uh, area for probably 50 or 51 years. One of my earliest memories here would be uh, five, six years old, uh, following my granddad. And he was an old hunter, you know, an old open sight gun. Him pointing out things, how to do, how to hunt, showing me how to hunt. And, you know, I've taken some, so much of that and applied it to my, my life. He not only was a hunter, he was a conservationist because he understood the value of the land and I've tried to uh, pass that on to my, my kids, my grandkids, and I even got four great grandkids that someday maybe I might be able to pass it on to. Plains is coming in here, Plains Energy is in there wanting to drill this uh, area out and it's uh, it's something that's going to be so devastating to this area. Uh, the wildlife, uh, to the uh, environment, the air, the water, and to the people. I'm Galen Rasmussen. I've hunted here for about 40 years. We could point to a patch of trees and say, well, remember that time we killed that elk over here, or that deer over here? Or, you know, remember how much trouble we had packing that one out, or? There's moose that winter here, wolves, grizzly bears, you know, all the bears den up here. Elk, antelope, and deer migrate from Yellowstone. They come right through here to go to their winter range. The roads, the pipelines, the drilling, the drilling rigs, the 18 wheelers, you know, uh, this place will not be anything like it was, is now. They're planning on building that road right through country where some of the best hunting I've ever done. You know, uh, my son and I killed elk together in the bear hole and they're going taking that road right through the bear hole. If they develop this place, it'll be just like the, the mesa right behind Pinedale, Wyoming, where the mule deer herd used to winter. They put a lock gate on either end of it now, actually all the way around it. And the only people that can go on it are the oil field personnel. And that's privatizing public lands. Plain and simple, that bar none, that's what it is. This is my forest. I am the public in public lands. I am the nation in national forest. Drilling brings jobs. Uh, but what a high price. The general feeling of everybody in this area is, uh, and it's not only just the uh, hunters, there's a lot of people that work in the oil field themselves are against this. There's some of them that actually publicly stand up and say it, you know, with their, their job might even be a little bit in jeopardy over this. But they understand the real value. That beautiful experience and time in the fall that would probably be just tainted. Anything I can do to, to uh, help stop this drilling, uh, I'm willing to do it. In 10 years, I'll, uh, I probably won't be hunting, but my grandkids will be here and my kids. Uh, that's what the fight is about. Yeah.